Where are we? Oh, hello. Do you know where I can find the city center? <laughs> Why are you asking me stuff like that? What's with that shirt? Who are these dudes laughing? <laughs> oh, stranger, it would be so kind of you to help me find my way around the city today. Oh, righteous. You swing dance, too? Where do you dance at? Me dance? <laughs> no, sir. I'm a bit of a klutz. <laughs> Oh, okay. I notice floating cue cards. I'm not reading off those. Well, you see, I've been walking for blocks, but I haven't been able to find the city center. Yeah, shut up about all that, dude. You said this magic burnout Benny strain was called Late Night Vibes. Yeah, you lied to me. This is some dumb shit, isn't it? <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Oh, cool. How long have you been a swing dancer? Swing dancing? Not sure what that is. <laughs> yeah, they're asking you about swing dancing because of your shirt. Well, sir, if you can't help me find my way to the city center, then I must be on my way. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> so what, the joke is you're blonde? Like you can't read your own shirt? Who is rotting this trash? Live from Minneapolis, it's Saturday Vine! It's Saturday Night! Featuring Ellis Griggs, Dennis J. Tanner, Keenan Thompson, and your host, James Rugberg! Hello, hello, thank you so much. Uh, I'm so excited to be here. Uh, I grew up watching the show, uh, funny story actually, when I, was, uh, when I was little, I had a Wayne's World hat. Remember Wayne's World? Yeah, Wayne's World. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You remember Wayne's World, right? Yeah. Uh, everywhere I went, I would wear this hat, and once I even wore it to my cousin's bat, uh, bat, bat, baptism. <laughs> and it, when the priest dunked the baby in the water, I yelled, SHWING! <laughs> Everyone got really mad because, you know, you know, why would I make a cartoon erection noise? I know. You know, during such a precious moment. So when everyone's eyes darted towards me, I looked back and I gave him one of these. Did I do that? <laughs> Which isn't from Wayne's World. It's an Urkel blind, but oh, the crowd loved it. Big laugh. <laughs> if you would have told me then that one day I'd be hosting SNL, I would have never believed it. Because you're not. This is dumb. I don't even want to be high anymore. We have a great show for you guys tonight. Gin Blossoms are here. Stick around. Did I do that? Welcome back to Boop the Bop. The game show where you boop the bop after answering a trivia question. Our contestants today are Barry Denmer from uh, OKC, Melissa Wenthold from Eau Claire, and Dave Simpson from Illinois. Welcome back. You were Good Burger, right? I was in it, yeah. But we doing this right now, all right? Melissa, you have the board. Here's your question. What state is known as the Sunshine State? Well, I have to say California. <laughs> <laughs> that is not correct. The answer is Florida. And here comes the bop. <laughs> well, goddamn. You better not try to boot my ass or I'll knock you back to Fat Elbert. Next question is for Barry. In the Civil War, what were the soldiers from the North called? <laughs> Do you have an answer? He can't read the cue cards, dog. Well, uh-oh. Here comes the bop. Oh, don't do that to DJ. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, Dave. You get our final question of the night. Are you scared to leave SNL? I know you tried to leave. Got a few sitcoms. Audiences completely rejected them, didn't they? You did Good Burger, the sequel, right? Yeah. And you thought that was a good way to refresh your career? You're the most popular black man amongst whites in this country, but only when you're on this show. And now you're trapped here. 
stuck hosting every game show skit the writers can shit out. Always using the exact same voice no matter the character you're playing. All your old co-stars have gotten TV shows and movie deals. Hell, one got a Kennedy Award. What do they think when they come back to host after a decade or so? And the first person they see is you, Keenan, from way back when. And here comes the bop. Yeah, fuck you, bro. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? You're on the toilet, but you know that your grocery store brand toilet paper isn't going to be enough to handle the sticky brown roadkill that's covering your anus. Introducing Butt Gushers, the toilet paper that can handle the mess. Each toilet paper piece contains a gusher pack. <laughs> Once squeezed, it shoots a blast of fruity clean all over your poop chute, giving you the same exhilarating feeling as sitting in a hot tub and letting the water jet blast your hole for an hour. <laughs> Don't settle for papers when you can gush your butt with Butt Gushers. Also available in cherry and lemon lime flavors. And now, Weekend Update with James Rubburn and Ellis Griggs. Our top story today, Vice President Kamala Harris sat down with podcaster and long-lost eighth dwarf Vaney to discuss her vision for the young male demographic that she seems to be struggling to capture. When asked if her appearance made a difference, one Joe Rogan fan was quoted in saying, Duh, I don't know. Duh. Star of the movie Wicked, actress Cynthia Erivo, has lashed out at fans of the musical when edited versions of the movie's poster began to being posted online where they covered half her face to more resemble the iconic Broadway poster. Cynthia, who plays the Green Witch, has said this is the most offensive thing she has ever seen. Clearly, she hasn't met Ariana Grande's boyfriend yet. <laughs> And now the Weekend Update Desk wants to help our viewers get ready for the Christmas season. Holiday expert Glenn Glennings is here to help us out. Hello, Glenn. Give our audience a tip on how to be prepared this season. Last night I slept under my bed inside a box. What? <laughs> okay. Fascinating. Any other tips for the viewers? What about gift-giving ideas? You can't pee into the wind. What's he saying? But you can poop in the wind. Oh, God. oh yes. I heard this is a must-have this season. Uh, where can you find one of those? I had a mole on my belly, but I ripped it off. It wasn't a real mole, though. It was just a fuzzy brown dot. Glenn Glennings, everyone. <laughs> and that is tonight's news. Hey, excuse me, want to buy a calendar? Why would I want to buy a calendar? It's the middle of the year. Come on, man. They're real cool calendars. This one has pictures of Snoop Dogg on it. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Okay, how about this? I also am selling used soda. <laughs> Use soda like it's already drank out of? Yeah, already opened and ready to enjoy. Yeah, no thanks. It seems like all the things you sell is just stuff nobody wants. Okay, okay, I get it. But I got something extra special for you. Okay, what is it? This is something you will definitely want. Okay, is it used or something? No, this is brand new, never used. Okay, what is it? Yeah, it's me, motherfucker. You think you're funny cool? What shows you been on? Tell me, you skinny cartoon looking bitch. Who you think you are? I've been in the industry for 35 goddamn years and some punk ass light skin wanna come up to me and tell me how I do one voice? How you like this voice, motherfucker? Is this black enough for you? I don't need no sitcom. I got a gun. Yeah, let's just cut to the part where we're waving at the cameras. Yeah, you don't call me good, Burger. Thanks, everyone. Weren't the gin blossoms great? Yeah. Thanks to Lauren and all you at home. All right. 
That wasn't a very good episode. Yeah, it hasn't been good in years. Pan mano. Hey, my kids and I did that theme song together. Recorded it in his in uh in their room. Anyway, 